Hi everybody. Earlier this year I went down to the Florida Everglades and nighttime was definitely the time to be catching fish. First up, this is a pike live bear. They're actually related to guppies and mollies, but you can see with those teeth they're definitely evolved to be a predator. Next is this walking catfish. They're uh, out of Africa and because they can walk over land short distances, they're super invasive down here. Um, they were introduced most likely from the food trade, um, but they're also banned in the pet trade. But they are super unique looking. I wish the, these are one I wish we could have in captivity because they are such a unique looking fish. That eel tail, and then, yeah, they just traverse land no problem. Then this is a hoplo catfish, another one kind of food slash pet trade introduction. People definitely eat these guys, but they're like an oversized quarry catfish. Then this here I wasn't able to catch, but this is actually a peacock eel, um, and there were alligators everywhere. But yeah, the peacock eel was definitely another unique one. Then this is a peacock bass. All these fish that I caught, I actually caught in this tiny little dip net. But this is an Ocellaris peacock bass. Another commonly, I think actually the state introduced these as a sport fish down here. Then this is a spotted tilapia. Another one we saw all over the place, just in little flood, flooded roadside ditches. It just looks like he was in a grassy field, but that's exactly where I caught him. Then a jaguar cichlid, another big South American cichlid. Then this is a Florida gar, the only native fish we saw in the Everglades were uh, Florida gar. And we saw a lot of them, but we didn't see any regular bluegill, bass, anything like that. But yeah, it's such a unique area down here. Everything is so full of life. Saw that little mouse there. Then this is a Cuban tree frog, a Mediterranean gecko, and this giant Lubbock grasshopper is bigger than all of them. So super unique region.